Aedius comes with a number of system presets for color correction and they're easy to identify here. You can see in my color correction effects list, I've got a number of presets with a big S on them. Uh, user presets have a U and you can use these to give your media a look. So here, for example, I can put some posterized color on here. It's almost in the direction of a bleach bypass, I suppose. But it's really, really easy to use these color correction effects to produce some really wonderful results with very, very few clicks. And I want to show you a couple of great examples. First of all, take a look at this. I'm going to put the three-way color corrector effect onto this clip at the beginning of my timeline. And this is a really simple shoot. We filmed this with the intention of it looking semi-professional because we put some wire work in and we gave this lady some uh, telekinetic powers. Now I'm going to open up this three-way color correction effect and I suppose all you really need to know about this to get started with it is that these three color wheels represent the dark, the medium and the light pixels in your picture. So if I adjust this for example, I'm just doing the shadows, I'll just default that and so on and so on. The really interesting part of this interface for speed though is this item right here. Now if you look in the color picker section, I can define my cursor as either looking for blacks, gray tones, or whites, or shadows, midtones, highlights, but it's on auto by default. And what that means is, whatever I click on, Edius will identify if it's intended to be controlled by this black balance control, the gray balance control, or the white balance control. And I'll show you what I mean. Notice, first of all, that all of these have zero settings. That means no change at all is made to the media. If I click on something like this dark area, on the sofa in the room, you can see immediately I get a little bit of color blue, color red adjustment to my shadows, to my black balance. And maybe I'll click on this blue highlight outside that's going to adjust the white balance. Finding something gray is uh, can be difficult, but I think this bit of curtain will probably do okay. Now, you can see immediately I've made changes and all I've done is apply the effect and start clicking into the picture. Edius automatically identifies whether we're working with the black, gray, or white balance controls. But the key thing is whatever you click on, it's, it needs to be something that should not have color. So for example, if I click on this wall, which is pink, you can see immediately I've introduced a green tint to my pictures. Let's fix that by clicking back on something gray and balancing out the color. So if you really wanna shoot through your media quickly and fix those color imbalances, Throw on the three-way color correction and just start clicking into the picture. I'll just click OK here and I'm done. You can use a similar control to pick out specific colors in your image. I'm just going to go to this other sequence I have here and you can see there's a shot where we've got these bushes. In fact, if I go to the closer shot, you can see we've got this uh, girl with beautiful red hair and there's some red in the background. There's uh, reds in the curtains and I'd really like to get rid of most of this green because it's ruining the color composition. Again, I'm going to put the three-way color correction effect on. I'm going to go into it, but this time instead of using the auto mode, I'm going to choose the color range. Now color range doesn't actually change any of the settings. What it does is update these limit controls, which limit which pixels are affected by your adjustments. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to massively crank up the red in all of the darks, midtones, and highlights in this picture. And then I'm going to turn on the hue control. And as I drag this through, you can see different pixels are being selected. Okay, so far so good. So what I'm going to do is use this color range control. Let me turn that off for a second to just click into the picture and pick out. You can see it's updating those controls. So now when I turn on my hue selection, you can see I'm just picking out the greens. I've got a little bit too much there. I've got some of that telegraph pole. So I could play with this a little bit. Maybe I'll turn on the luminance control and limit the brighter pixels, but there is quite a lot of brightness in there, isn't there? Let's turn on the saturation as well. And that's a little bit better. I've got the highlights of the green, but I've pretty much excluded that telegraph pole. And that's all I need to do. Obviously, I might want to make a more subtle color adjustment so it's not uh, quite so orange in the background. Let's uh, pull that around a little bit towards the red, particularly in the highlights, ease it out a little bit. It's not too shabby, that's okay. And obviously I'm doing this by eye just to get a look. If I say okay now and just 
scrub through here, you can see we've lost a lot of that green. It's become more orange. I can apply the same effect to another clip by simply dragging it from the information palette onto the other clip. In fact, you can apply this to a whole list of clips if you want to. I'm just going to do it to one. So I've got the clip selected with the effect on it, and I'm going to drag and drop the three-way color correction effect onto the shot before. And when I release the mouse, you can see I've got this effect applied to the tips of the leaves on those bushes. I think I'm going to need to tone down the orange a little bit, but hopefully you get the idea. I'm now introducing a little bit more autumn and taking off some of the green highlights there by using that limit control. And I've set up the limit, if I double click here and go back in, just by choosing the color range option in the three-way color correction effect and clicking on the pixels I want to change. So there's a couple of quick fixes that you can apply using the three-way color correction tool in EDIUS without necessarily really understanding too much about the way color works. Just click on things that should not have color and EDIUS will work it out for you.